everyone, welcome to my channel, Kindred Souls of Brooklyn. And who's ready for a casino in Coney Island? Stay with me, we're gonna talk about this. Uh, there's been bids put in. We might be seeing a casino in Coney Island real soon. It's been expected for the last 60 years, people have been holding on to property. But let's talk about this, so stay tuned. Hey folks, so if you don't know much about Coney Island, I have this little footage here. And I'll stop it along the way a few times or go back to it to show you basically where they want to put it. Now, for the longest time, they've wanted to put a casino in Coney Island because since World War II, it's kind of fell in, in and out of disrepair. But now New York State is issuing three gaming licenses. So basically for three casinos to open up downstate. So there's actually two casinos already, one in Queens by Resorts World, another by Empire Casino in the Bronx, so it seems to be a foregone conclusion that those two are going to win the bid and get the uh, and get two of the licenses because pretty much they've been um, those two casinos have been operating for a while and they're not really full casinos without table games and such. So it seems like those two are going to get the uh, bid. I would pretty much think. So I think Coney Island is an interesting place to open the casino because. It was the Disney World of its day. This is actually footage of the 2023 Polar Bear Plunge. There's a lot of stuff that goes on in Coney Island. You can see the Wonder Wheel right behind there, which is not far from where they want to open it up. And I'm going to put down right now uh, some of the companies that are interested. It's actually a very interesting process um, that, that goes on with this. You have to put in like a bid for like a million dollars. So the third casino option which again, these aren't absolutely guaranteed, but who's putting in the options? It's gonna be Coney Island. Times Square is gonna put in an option. They also wanna put one in over at um, Veteran Stadium, which is in Long Island. But I think Coney Island kinda of has the lead in this situation because first off, um, I mentioned before that Resorts World is in uh, Queens already near Kennedy Airport. So you figure Queens has one. Yonkers is literally where the casino is in Empire over in Yonkers, the Empire Casino. It's literally two minutes over the border from the Bronx. So to me, they've got uh, casinos in the Bronx, in Queens. It would seem like it would only be fair for Brooklyn to get one as well. And I think Coney Island is a great option because you already have the Belt Parkway right next to Coney Island. You can come to Coney Island via the waterway this way. The subway system is in Coney Island. They are, most of the lines terminate in Coney Island. Plus, there's a lot of cool stuff that happens in Coney Island. The uh, New York Mets play in Coney Island. It's their A-ball club, the Cyclones. You have the New York City Aquarium. You have Nathan's. You have the Luna Park. You have the history of Coney Island. So I think this is a really viable option of what's going to happen. And we're going to find this out over the next couple of months as to who wins the bid. So it's going to be very interesting. Um, how do I feel about a casino coming to, New to Coney Island? So what's my feeling on a casino in Coney Island? I mean, I'm a really a big fan of casinos. I um, really enjoy going there and eating the food and things, but I'm not sure. A lot of times when they want to put a casino in, you know, the pitch is that it's going to help the neighborhood. I mean, if you look at Atlantic City, it hasn't really helped Atlantic City too much. Um, uh, you, you walk around the surrounding streets and it's not really um, the best possible area. Um, of course, it's always great to see jobs coming into Brooklyn. That's a fabulous thing. I mean, I guess I'm more for it than against it. And I think one of the ways, one of the pitches that they're using to put this casino in Coney Island is that they're going to try to do what they're doing at the Barclays Center, which is bring in all local brands. So, for instance, like... I'm showing you Nathan's because I love hot dogs, but for instance, at the casino, you would have Nathan's hot dogs. Uh, you would have, um, say, Uncle Luigi's Ices, you know, local ice, uh, local, all local companies. And this is some of the things that they're trying to uh, to do to get the casino in there. I mean, this is uh, City Field's uh, A-Ball Mets Club, showing you that. Ken, I'm a big Mets fan. And I think... Um, Steve Cohen, um, he's going to probably get his way one way or the other because he's a really rich guy. And uh, we'll see. But, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I think I'm more for it than against it. 
Coney Island needs a shot in the arm. Um, we could certainly use something more for Brooklyn. It's always a good thing. Very exciting. I mean, I know for me, when I visit Brooklyn again, I would definitely go to the casino. And uh, what I'll do is I'll put some images up over here of the casino, what they've got so far. So these are a few of the renderings of the casino. They're calling it the Coney. And uh, it looks like it might be a really interesting place. I mean, it, you're talking like a $3 billion investment of, of, of uh, the casino in Brooklyn. And uh, I think over 21,000 slot machines. It's gonna, maybe no, 2,100 slot machines. It's gonna be quite a few. And they're gonna have the table games, which of course is uh, something they don't have in Queens. So why not? So let me hear what you think, and uh, we'll see what happens with this casino. So for now, this is Al signing off. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and drop me a line. Let me know what think. Would you bet on a casino in Brooklyn, in Coney Island? All right, folks, take care.